Okay, so in this this video, I'm going to show you how to do uh, problem number 10 by hand. Um, since I've already submitted the answer on the previous video, uh, I don't have the equations in front of me, but I do have the matrix here. So I can just go back to our calculator and um, look at this matrix A. And... Uh, this will give me the equations. So this is what we started out with. Let me write this down. It was a negative. This marker is starting to run out on me. Get a different one. So we were starting out with negative 2x plus 4y, since that's positive, plus to z um, equals 6 and then we had x plus 6y minus 4z equals negative 39 and then we had 3x plus 2y minus 6z equals 45 negative 45 all right so that was this is what the equations that we started with um, the most important thing is the matrix though so I just wanted you to to have this frame of reference this is where we're starting all right we're going to write this as a matrix so I already wrote it as a matrix in the calculator but I'm gonna write it down again um, so that uh, you can see each row operation one at a time. So here's the matrix that we're starting with. Negative two. Four, two, six. All right, then one, six, negative four, negative 39 all right and then um, 3 2 negative 6 negative 45 all right our goal is to get these first three rows and three columns to have one down the diagonal so anytime you do this, you want to have ones down the diagonal and zeros everywhere else. So one zero 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 one zero 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 one, and then we'll have some numbers over here. Those will be our solutions. Okay, we already know from solving it with the calculator that the bottom row is going to completely cancel out, and we should get the same thing that we saw in the calculator, um, which is there on the screen. So first thing I'm going to do is get this number right here to be a one and then zero these out and then uh, do the same thing going down the table so in order to make this be a one I'm gonna multiply or divide by negative two this whole row so the first thing I'm doing is uh, row one divided by negative two it's gonna be my new row one it's gonna divide row one by negative two it's gonna be my new row one <coughs> So dividing all of this by negative 2 will give me uh, 1 divided by negative 2 we have negative 2 divided by negative 2 negative 1 divided by negative 2 negative 3 so I'm only changing that one okay. so these other rows are the same as for right now okay. Uh, now that I have this, uh, I'm going to uh, zero out these, the first two here. All right. So the way I'm going to do that, I'm going to do it one at a time. I'm going to do this row first. So since this is a one, and this is still a one right now, all I have to do is negative one times this. If I multiply this row times negative one, add it to this row, it will make this be a zero. Okay. So we're going to do. Uh, for my row 2, I'm going to do negative 1 times row 1 and add that to row 2. 
Okay, so I'm doing a lot of this mentally. Um, you might want to write it down. It's just I don't have a lot of room and I'll have to keep erasing. So I'm trying to do as little writing as possible. But I'm multiplying this by negative 1 and I'm going to talk you through it. So this is now a negative 1. When you add that to 1, you get a 0. That's our new row 2. Multiply this by negative 1. That becomes a positive 2. Add it to 6. We get 8. Multiply this by negative 1. That becomes a positive 1. Add it to negative 4. Positive 1, negative 4 gives us a negative 3. And then negative 1 times the 3 will be a positive 3. Add it to the negative 39. That will give us a negative 36. Okay. <clears throat> and now I want to zero out the 3. So from this row right here, if I just multiply by negative 3 for that first term, add it there, that's going to make that be a 0. So I made the first row a 1 and then making these two zeros. And I'm going to go through the process, try to make this a 1, make these two zeros, and then so forth and so on. That's the process. All right. So in order to get this to be a 0, again, I have to do row 1, negative 3 times row 1. And we're going to add that to row 3. This is how we keep track of what's going on. So negative 3 times row 1, and I'm going to add it to 3. So negative 3 plus 3 is 0. Negative 3 is 6, positive 6, plus 2 is 8. And then um, negative 3 times 1 is 3. Negative 3, sorry, ne positive 3 plus 6 will give us a negative 3. And then over here, negative 3 times <clears throat> this 3 is 9 and add it to the 45. Positive 9 added to 45 will give us 36, negative 36. Okay, so notice these rows are exactly the same. So whenever I try to manipulate them, they're going to pretty much zero out. <clears throat> Alright, so now that I have 1, 0, 0, I'm going to try to make this a 1, um, which is not going to be easy. Probably be easier to do uh, the last column first because I have to deal with fractions. <clears throat> so, what I'm going to do is I'm going to skip over to the last column. And um, well, either way, it's still going to we're still going to be dealing with fractions. So um, we'll just divide by eight, okay? And you'll just see what's going on. Divide by eight. Row two. It's going to be my new row two. Row two divided by eight is going to be my new row two. So I'm going to come down here. We got 1, negative 2, negative 1, and negative 3. And then we're going to divide this row by 8. So we have 0. That's going to become a 1. Divide by 8, this will be negative 3 over 8. Divide by 8, this will give us 8 over 36. Um, both of those are divisible by 4, so I'm doing 36 divided by 8, negative 36 divided by 8, divide by 4, that will give us 9, divide by 4, that will give us 2, so negative 9 over 2, negative 9 over 2. Okay, <clears throat> now that this is a 1, I'm going to use it to zero out uh, this here, and um, zero out this bottom row which right now is still eight and three okay so to um, well actually before we yeah actually before we we do this part 
let's go back and we can zero that out now I'm just now looking at that they're already multiples of each other so let's undo that sorry let's fix that in so we still got one negative two we're not messing with row one right now negative three I can go ahead and zero out this bottom one from here so uh, what I'm gonna do is uh, just a negative one right here negative one times this row that'll save us some work negative one times row two and we're gonna add that to row three I mean my new row three so I'm just gonna multiply by negative one you see they're the same when I add them it's gonna be opposite and they're gonna cancel out so negative one times this is gonna give me zero negative one times eight is negative eight plus eight is zero negative one times three um, is positive three plus negative three is zero negative one times thirty six is positive thirty six add it and give us zero negative one times negative is a positive alright so this bottom row is zeros and um, this row is still zero eight negative three and negative thirty six okay now we're going to divide it by eight okay so we're going to divide this row by eight so uh, and I'm running out of room I'm just going to write it over here uh, <clears throat> row two divided by eight is going to be my new row two all right so here's my new matrix dividing everything by two one negative two negative one negative three and then divide by eight we get zero one uh, negative three over eight and we get uh, negative nine over two and the bottom row was all zeros all right so from here we will zero out these guys the two and the one so to zero out um, the two we just multiply this by two and add it so multiply this row by two add it up here all right so running out of room so two times row two plus row one two row two plus row one it's going to zero out the two all right so as for now, row two and row three are not changing. I'm changing row one. So we still got zero, zeros on the bottom. Uh, row two is still going to be zero, one, and negative three over eight. And then negative nine over two. And then we're multiplying this by two, adding it to this row. All right. So times two is zero, plus one is one, times two is 2 plus negative 2 is 0 times 2 this will be uh, negative 3 fourths when we multiply by 2 uh, 3 fourths plus 1 I'm just gonna or minus 1 so hold on this will be negative 3 fourths negative 3 over 4 uh, minus 1 that'd be a negative 1 and 3 fourths Um, if I 4 7 over 4 so this would be a negative 7 over 4 and then times 2 here will give us a negative 9 and negative 9 we're going to add it to the the negative 3 that gives us a negative 12 alright and now um, I think this is the argumented matrix that we ended up with. Um, since this last row zeroed out, um, this is what we ended up with and what we solved uh, to get um, the matrix in terms of Z. Let me turn this calculator back on. And if I arrow up, right here, a 1, we got 0, we got negative 7 over 4, and the negative 12. And then we have zero right here in this column, one, negative three eighths, and then negative nine over two, and then this last row of zeros. So once you get the last row of zeros, you got zero, one, we won't be able to 
to to get those to be zeros um, from this point we'll solve it so this is how you would get there by hand um, it's quite messy long process sorry I couldn't get it all on there in one one snap it's a lot um, but you can use the calculator here uh, just to get you through it and you just want to be familiar with it so that if you see it again um, you've kind of seen what's going on here